Oh, it's all kicked off. I did a little post on Instagram that probably was better served on Twitter. Instagram is normally a nice place. The, 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 the difference between the two social media channels. Twitter seems to be an angry place. It seems to be a place where people, if they haven't been offended by 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, they'll find something to be offended by. It was all to do with this young man here, young Kion, who at just 10 years of age, weighs in at 17 stone, 236 pounds in weight. Has a 47 inch waist, so he feels like a slave to his weight and he just wants help. And he really does. He's clearly a food addict, but his mother says that the NHS let him down. Those are the words that she did use. The lack of funding in the NHS means he can't get the treatment he looks for. There's something's not right here. So I put out a post. I probably didn't edit it the way I should have done. And I put, yes, that's right. It's the NHS that's let him down. Nothing whatsoever to do with his mother. When, oh when, will people stop blaming everything on the government and take some bloody personal responsibility? I must be quite angry at the time. If anyone knows this young man, please let us know where we can get hold of him. Send him out to Juicy Oasis so we can help him. He's just 10 years old. There's a lot of people with thumbs up, so thanks for those that did support. But again, ooh, it all kicked off. And it ruffled a few feathers, um, some more than others. Yes, I believe the mother needs to take responsibility. That was the kind of given across the board, which is fair enough. But when something has a but at the end of it, it normally negates what gone, what's gone before it. But let's get it right. Our government, who have been voted in to protect our interests, fail us massively. We are sold so many disgusting foods that basically kill us, but maybe this is the plan. I'm really not a conspiracy theorist. I do not believe that that is the plan at all. Oh, we have zero food nutrition education in schools. Sorry, what? What? Zero food education. Zero. This is not true. We do. In fact, we've never had a time in history where we have access to more free everything online. Everything. Between Google, YouTube, Bing, other search engines, Everything is available if only you look for it. We've got to take some personal responsibility. Education starts with ourselves. Our kids should not be able to buy blooming pot drinks and crisps for school lunch. I agree. Same with hospitals. There shouldn't be fast food outlets in hospitals. And there are. And there shouldn't be. It's shameful what we expect as nutrition and becoming similar to the USA. It's all about the pounds they put. And it goes on. I agree to the point. Child's mother, I mean that she's buying the household food, but I also think there is so many confusing messages out there today that it can be very hard for people to know what's healthy. Look, there's a donut, there's an apple, which one's healthier? You don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to work it out. There's no discussion, it's intuitive. I agree, our intuition has gone out the window, but I still think there isn't a human on earth that doesn't know that fruits and vegetables are good for them and that junk food will make them fat. It says here, that he was afraid to go outside due to his cravings and he regularly steals crisps and chocolate from the family kitchen to binge eat in the bathroom. The control of the food that this young boy has is in the hands of his parents, completely in the hands of his mother without any question. He can't earn the money himself and the food that's in the house is brought in by the mother. The mother has to take some responsibility. And when you start to see your eight-year-old starting to get put on tons of weight, she didn't wake up one day and he's 17 friggin' stone. That wasn't overnight. He didn't just wake up, oh, friggin' hell. And if you don't know the answer, surely you have a responsibility to go and find it. And you can do that now on a friggin' keyboard. The same amount of energy that it took her to say the NHS and go to the newspapers is their fault would be the same amount of energy it would have taken her to say, what foods are good for you? Now, the treatment that she's looking for is, is a fat camp essentially, and it costs 4,000 pounds. Now, the NHS only has a certain amount of money. They said, no, we can't send him to the fat camp. However, what they've said is that if he waits two years, we can give him surgery. Now, I agree with her because that, that just doesn't make any logical sense whatsoever. It's gonna cost more to do the surgery. In this particular case, now that it has got this far, that clearly the boy needs help. Clearly the mother isn't helping for whatever reason. She wants to help. I appreciate that. She loves her kid. She's scared he's going to die. So from that point of view, if you're going to spend 10,000 pounds on gastric band surgery, and you've got a choice two years before that to spend 4,000 pounds on a boot camp, spend 4,000 pounds on a boot camp. And I agree with her. I get it. I understand. We, we need some logical decisions. I don't think anybody was really posting out of any malice. I didn't post out of malice either. I think all of it comes from a place of genuinely caring. That's the point. You're, you're emotional about it because you care about it. You want the right kind of help for the kid. And you say it needs to come full circle. It needs to be this approach and that approach. And everybody has their own ideas. And I appreciate that. I appreciate I might have been a bit too ranty on my particular post and I should have left it maybe to Twitter. But at the same time, surely collectively we understand it isn't government cuts that's caused this child to be 17 stone, 236 pounds at the, at the age of 10, that actually it's what's going into his mouth. And actually what's going into his mouth has to be bought. And the only person with money in his household is his mother. Education might play a part to some extent. Come on, 
most of us now know what's good and what's bad for us and he will not be able to wake up at two in the morning and start grabbing crisps and chocolate and then eating them in the toilet if they're not in the house. We all play a part. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, more of the same over here. Latest video over here. Don't forget to subscribe and to like and please share what you see.